Hey guys, welcome back to Inno Graphics, where we transform your ideas to visual masterpiece. Today, we're going to dive into the world of background creation with Photo Editor app. So before you start any church flyer design, you have to understand the theme of that particular flyer you are designing. Okay, knowing this will help you come out with something nice, right? So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into the video. Right, so from your screen, you can see I have this flyer, this church flyer over here, which I created in Photo Editor app. Okay, so let me know in the comment section if you want a tutorial on this. Right, yeah, so from the background, how I was able to blend and everything. So I'll quickly hide the design and show you the background. All right, so this is the background I created from scratch okay it's good to know how to create backgrounds okay yeah i backgrounds tells a big story in the flyer or oh, it's it makes the flyer very catchy okay so knowing how to create backgrounds helps a lot all right so i'll delete everything then you can see my layers i'll delete everything then Start all over again, okay. Yeah, so I will I will leave the background, okay. So I have my background here, right? So I'll click on this plus icon, go for a shape. Alright, so I have my oval shape over here. I'll go to fill. Then I have my colors already. There's no need. I have my dark color you pick pattern color to you pick the same color so after picking that you click on this icon over here you click on it then you reduce the hardness of the shape to zero after you click on apply then you click on apply again all right so reduce the size then you stretch it a bit you position it here let's reduce the size again okay position it here you then go to blend mode and set it to screen okay click on these three lines make a duplicate you position it here increase the size a bit and bring it down All right, you're going to select this one again. Then you make a duplicate. Then you position it here. So what you need to do is you make a duplicate of this one. You make sure you place it on top. Okay, you select this one, make another duplicate. Place this on top. Select this one, make a duplicate place it on top like this okay yeah so after everything you click on this check mark over here right so you come to from down here you can see effect you click on the first effect then you you head over to blur then you increase the blur radius okay you so after you click on this check mark again you click on these three lines over here click on test slash image all right so we're gonna import a resource from our gallery okay so we click on this plus icon from gallery so we click on this a icon this a icon okay so we click on that we select our gallery icon all right so we're gonna select everything okay yeah so we are going to hide the ones that we are not going to be using for now so let's work on this image first all right so we just increase the size then we click on this pencil icon over here 
then we click on this e icon we click on this s icon okay then we select our brush so we are going to brush the part that we want to make use of okay we click on apply all right so we head over to create three lines over here we go to blend mode we are going to set it to screen all right let's lock our layer so let's unhide this one as well let's bring it on top of the this one okay yeah so we're gonna select this then click on this pencil icon you click on this a icon over here this a okay so we click on this a and we click on the s so we click select the brush and we want to brush off the part that we are going to make use of okay you carefully brush it okay so it's it blends with the background okay so click on apply yeah so we increase the size yeah we head over to these three lines go to blend mode then we are going to set to overlay okay we're going to set it to overlay like this okay all right so go to the layer side and lock our layer let's unhide this particular image as well we click on this straight line then we flip it horizontally like this okay then we click on our pencil icon we select this a okay and we select our brush so you're going to brush off the image so after we click on apply we just reduce the size yeah so we click on these three lines go to blend mode we're gonna set it to um screen yeah we're gonna set it to screen yeah right so we lock our layers yeah so we are going to enable this or unhide this image okay yeah so we're gonna position it here click on this pencil icon so we're gonna brush off some parts it will be like the man is inside this bubble here okay yeah so we just reduce the size then we position it on this man okay yeah we go to the three lines move inside so we can move inside it okay yeah so we lock our layer let's click and drag it on top of everything okay yeah so we unhide it then we just increase the size Let, okay let's head over to the blend mode we are going to set it to um saturation okay we're going to set it to saturation all right so you're going to rotate this like this okay then we increase the size yeah so we'll go to the layer side and we send it under everything all right so we go to the layer side our uh, three lines and reduce opacity a bit okay yeah so we lock our layer let's increase the size a bit okay so we lock our layer all right we unhide this image as well We click on this three line we're gonna flip it horizontally okay we click on this pencil icon 
and we select our brush then we brush the horses okay all right so click on apply we just reduce the size and we're gonna move it here all right we click on these three lines go to blend mode we want to set it to overlay all right and reduce the size uh, reduce the opacity a bit okay so we lock our layer as well so we enable this one so like a cloud dust okay so we enable it to increase the size like this we then click on these three lines go to blend mode and we set it to screen as well all right we then again click and drag it on top of everything okay you are going to unhide it like this then we just increase the size yeah so we make a duplicate sorry let's let's reduce opacity first so after we then we then make a duplicate yeah so first of all let's select the first one and we are going to crop this part okay you want to crop this part yeah so we leave it like this then we select the other one like this so let me rotate it like this all right so i think we are getting there yeah so let's click and drag this one as well i'll just unhide it and just increase the size i'll just go to then reduce opacity all right so we lock our layers we click and drag so we unhide our lighting over here go to straight lines blend mode so we set it to screen okay so reduce the size okay we click on this plus icon then shape okay let's go to fill we want to change the color to this and bottom color to that okay so we just reduce the size then we position it somewhere here let's click on edit then we increase the hardness a bit yeah all right so from here just click on this check mark over here this is how i create backgrounds in photo editor and that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful kindly subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and click on the notification bell to be notified anytime i upload a new content